Hello everyone. Welcome to Pharma Thoughts. Episode 3 GMP vs CGMP. So today's agenda difference between GMP and CGMP what is correct CGMP or CGMP whether to write C in capital letters or small letters what is GLP what are GXPs. To start with difference between GMP and CGMP what is GMP? We all know it is good manufacturing practices. And what is CGMP? Again, the answer would be immediate current good manufacturing practices. But if I ask further, what is the difference between GMP and CGMP? And where do I find CGMPs? The answer may not be immediate. So today, I would like to present one example through which we will try to understand what is the difference between a GMP and CGMP. And as we have discussed in our previous presentations, Regulations are legal requirement. Regulations are law and regulations give high priority for protection of public health and they also define the minimum requirements in order to protect the public health. So always in the industry we follow much stringent requirements than what the regulations prescribe and revision of regulations is a complex process and often takes longer times. We know a law cannot be so easily changed. A law has to be put into the parliament. It has to be accepted by all the majority of the members. So it takes a lengthy process. How do the governments ensure that the current requirements are being met when there are so delays in bureaucracy? For that purpose, uh, regulatory authorities release certain guidance documents. And those guidance documents provide information to us on current expectations. If you see USFDA guidance documents, we see this statement such as guidance documents represent the agency's current thinking on a particular subject. So there are regulations which have been already finalized on GMP which states minimum requirements and elaborating on those requirements meeting today's current expectations, regulatory authorities release guidance documents. So most of the times we can say the CGMP can found in latest GMP guidance documents. And what is CGMP? CGMP deals mostly with the new technology or concepts, innovations, changes and improvements. What was considered a state of the art technology 20 years ago may be inadequate now. Another reason for CGMP is 20 years ago some technology might be considered as very up to date but today it might not be adequate. Hence, we need to adapt to the latest technologies. Let us take this example. We all know that 21 CFR part 211 is the regulation for current good manufacturing practice for finished pharmaceuticals. As per this regulation, section 211.110, manufacturing processes shall be validated. This is the essence of this statement. All the manufacturing processes shall be validated. And this regulation was published on September 29, 1978. It has been 40 years since the publication of this regulation. But this statement of the regulation has not changed since then. However, three different guidances are available. Of course, one guidance is obsolete now. For example, USFDA has published a guidance on general principles of process validation in May 1987. And specific to APS, we have one guide which was published in November 2000 uh, ICHQ 7 and again USFD has revised its initial process validation guidance in January 2011 and uh, published as process validation general principles and practices revision 1. If you see uh, the previous slide the regulation 21 CFR part 211 simply states that manufacturing processes shall be validated how they need to be validated regulation does did not specify whereas guidance documents these guidance documents provide us some input on how a process can be validated if you see the 1987 guidance it states that under section 8 elements of process validation process validation can be performed in two forms either prospective validation or retrospective process validation whereas if you see November 2000 ICHQ7 guidance, it states under section 12.4 approaches to process validation. Process validation can be performed in three ways. 
prospective validation, concurrent validation, retrospective validation. Whereas if you see the 2011 January US FDA revised guidance, process validation shall be performed in three stages. Stage 1 process design, stage 2 process qualification, stage 3 continued process verification. So which validation shall I follow? If uh, the regulation says only my process has to be validated and if I validate my process either using retrospective validation as mentioned in 1987 or as concurrent validation mentioned in 2000 or as per the three-stage approach mentioned in January 2011. So here comes the tricky situation. If we do the process validation, we are complying with the minimum requirements of the regulation that is 21 CFR part 211. When the regulatory authority inspector, regulatory inspector comes and inspects your facility and sees your process, remember the aim of regulation is for the protection of public health. Inspector will review your processes according to the aim of the regulation that is whether your process is validated or not. If validated, is it adequate and sufficient in protecting the public health? He will look into those aspects and if your process is adequate, your process validation is adequate following any of these guidances, he may accept it. If he feels that your process has certain lacunas and your process validation is not as per the latest requirement, then he may identify it as a non-conformance and give you an observation. Keeping up to date with the current requirements is one's responsibility. What is correct? CGMP or CGMP whether I should write C in capital letter or in small letters though this looks a very trivial question it is not so I have seen people debating on this at many places so hence I have put this and as per my interpretation both are correct whether to write C in a capital letter or small letter is of grammatical discussion it does not have any technical relevance and it is technically both the ways it is acceptable either you write C in small letters or capital letters it is acceptable if you see US FDA website US FDA has often mentioned C in capital letters CGMP they write in capital letters whereas if we see ISPE website we see C in small letters so it's all independent individuals uh, uh, definitions but technically both are correct and what is GLP GLP means good laboratory practice. Why a specific slide has been put only for good laboratory practices? To clarify that often there is a misconception in quality control laboratories. People working in quality control laboratories have often claimed that they are meeting GLP requirements. Good laboratory practice or GLP is a set of principles intended to assure the quality and integrity of non-clinical laboratory studies that are intended to support research or marketing permits for its products regulated by government agencies. GLP only applies to non-clinical studies and testing, not applicable for clinical studies. And GLP is not applicable for quality control laboratories operated in GMP environment. QC laboratories shall comply with GMP requirements. To provide a clarification on this particular aspect, I have put this, present this particular slide in the presentation. Most of the times, People working in quality control laboratories are misguided with the word GLP. The claim is that the QC labs are meeting GLP requirements, whereas QC laboratories does not operate as per GLP regulations. GLP regulations are specific for non-clinical studies and even for clinical studies we have good clinical practices. So QC labs which are working in a manufacturing facility fall under GMP regulations. So the requirements, if you remember in the last slide in either ICHQ7 GMP guide for API or in 21 CFR part 211, there is a separate section for laboratory controls. All QC laboratories working in manufacturing environment shall comply with the requirements mentioned under laboratory controls section. And GLP regulations are covered under 21 CFR part 58, whereas GMP regulations are covered under 21 CFR part 211. If you see this uh, slide, basic research disease discovery and drug discovery are not under any regulations. Whereas preclinical development is under 
GLP regulations and clinical trials shall be performed as per GCP requirements. Manufacturing including APIs and QC laboratories shall be monitored under GMP requirements. What are GXPs? So sometimes we might have seen GXPs in some of the articles or websites. So what are GXPs? We all know that pharma industry is a highly regulated environment. There are different areas that operate under regulated environment in pharma industry. Each of those area have some good practices established such as good clinical practices for clinical studies, good laboratory practices for non-clinical studies, good manufacturing practices for manufacturing. Uh, similarly, we have GAMP, good automated manufacturing practice, GDP, good distribution practice, GEP, good engineering practice and GGP, good guidance practice, etc. So all these practices, good practices collectively are called GXPs. In an article where common areas are being referred with a common practice, then they use the word GXPs where we need to include the respective applicable regulation or practice according to the subject. So this is called GXPs. These are the references that uh, we have taken in preparing this presentation. So you can go through them if you are further interested. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any clarifications or doubts, please write to us at pharmathoughts1 at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.